At the Infinite Actuary, our number one goal is to help you pass. To do that, we want to make sure that you get the most out of every single minute that you spend studying for the exam. Of course, working practice problems is one of the most important things that you do to get ready for the exam. To be most effective, you need to keep track of which problems you miss, how long it takes to finish problems, and which lessons give you the most trouble. It can be hard to take the extra time that you need to keep track of those details. That's why we are very excited to present the TIA problem system. The problem system keeps track of all those details automatically. You don't need to worry about losing track of which problems you missed or any other details of your progress. Let's have a look at how it works. As you go through the lessons learning the material, there's a Work Problems button on every lesson that has problems associated to it. You'll either want to use the problem system to work all your problems or just use the PDF files. So the first time that you click on the Work Problems button, you'll be offered that choice, as well as a link to this introduction video. When you enter the system, you'll go straight to the first problem. If there are exhibits available, those will appear in the upper right corner, just like they do for the CBT style practice exams. You can select an answer choice and check my answer or click give up. After you click either check my answer or give up, you'll see the correct answer immediately, as well as whether your answer is right or wrong. The problem statement and the type solution are both easily accessible. Scroll within both the top and the bottom half of this window to see more. Or you can also use the standard command or control plus and minus to make the text larger or smaller within the window. Your problem statistics begin to update at the top left corner of the screen, and a link to your problem history appears there as well. It shows the date, your answer choice, and how long you took to answer the question for every previous attempt at this problem. To flag the problem, click on the orange flag next to the problem history link. We'll see how you can review your flagged problems shortly. The timer at the top right shows the time that you took to answer. The links at the bottom of this screen will let you move on to the next problem, watch the video solution, or go to the forum topic for this question. Every problem has its own forum topic, with the problem statement, the problem solution, and a link to the video solution right at the top of the topic. This way, all the questions about the problem can be asked in the same topic. No multiple topics for the same problem, no searching to find out if anybody else has ever asked about this question before. Let's try another one. I'm not quite sure how to do this one, so maybe I'll just guess that it's B. Now, this one we got right, and we see a new option at the bottom of the screen. The I Got Lucky button is important for you to use to keep from fooling the problem system into thinking that you know how to do this problem when you really didn't. If you guessed right, use that button although you could have really just used give up in the first place there. More importantly, if your solution doesn't match up, and if you can't understand why your solution worked, then you'll need to treat this problem like a missed problem so that you can review it again in the future. By clicking I got lucky, you tell the problem system to change your answer to no answer, the same thing it does when you click give up. This problem will now show up on my list of missed problems later on. In each lesson, some of the problems may be designated as first pass. These are the problems that your instructor thinks you should look at as soon as you've finished watching the associated lesson. After you finish the first pass problems, consider moving on to the next lesson. There will be plenty of opportunity to come back to the others later, and you don't need to worry about skipping some problems and not being able to remember which one to come back to. Once you've finished the first pass problems, if you click on More Problems at the lower left, you'll get a chance to choose which sort of problems you want. You can work more problems, which will be new ones you haven't seen yet, work missed problems from this lesson, work problems that you flagged from this lesson, or review the problems that you've worked. Now all but the last of these starts you right back into working problems immediately. The review option moves you one at a time through all the problems for this lesson that you've already worked so far. That makes it easy for you to find problems again if you've already completed them. If you exit the problem system, whenever you come back to the problems for this lesson, if you finish the first pass problems, you'll be offered these same options. If you haven't finished the first pass problems, then you'll just drop straight back in where you left off to keep working on those. Whether you're in the problem system or in the lesson window, you can always see how you're doing. Your up-to-the-minute stats are in the upper left corner of the problem system, 
and also here in the lower right of the lesson window, just below the Problem System button. Once you're finished watching all the lessons and working on the first pass problems, use the Work Problems tab to start practicing. This is where you can find your stats for the whole course, or even pop out a detailed list of your performance from each lesson. You can also tell at a glance how much you're improving between your first and subsequent attempts at problems in the whole course. Look at the options here. Don't want to think too hard? <laughs> Just click Random Problem one at a time, and the system will choose new problems for you at random from the entire course. You could spend many happy hours working through hundreds of problems in the course just using this little link. You can also generate timed mini-exams out of random problems selected from the entire course. The default time is chosen based on the average time you will have on your real exam, but you can adjust it however you like. It'd be natural to start with more time when you get started and work your way down to a smaller time per problem as your exam date gets closer. You can also access your missed problems list or your flag problems list from the entire course, or navigate directly to the problems associated to a specific lesson. The last thing I want to mention is that it is possible to totally reset your work progress for the whole course. Go to My Stuff by clicking on your name in the upper right corner of the website, and click on the Reset Work Progress link in the upper right corner of your course product frame. This is not a reversible option, so you'll have to verify and then confirm that you really do want to reset your progress for these lessons. But once you do, you'll be able to start completely from scratch on all the problems in the course again. We hope you'll agree that being able to work problems without needing to keep track of the details on your own is a big advantage. And as always, we'd love to hear your feedback as you use this system. We're constantly looking for ways to make things better for you. Have fun, study hard, and good luck.